Hey everyone, this is Ajaxter. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Remember to hit the subscribe button and click the like button if you like the video. Also click on the bell to be a part of the notification team so you can get notifications on the tutorials afterward and tutorials that are part of this tutorial series. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and your positive feedback and any feedback you want to give me. So. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. I wanted to uh, start a new series on how to build Valorant mechanics in Unity. So I'm here in Valorant. I'm just in the training range. I'm going to show you some of the basic mechanics we'll go over in the first couple episodes. And then throughout the episodes, uh, once we're focusing on a specific mechanic, um, I'll show you guys a representation in the game before we start working on it just to show you what we're trying to emulate so Valorant is a first person shooter tactical shooter uh, made by Riot Games uh, newly launched a couple weeks ago and uh, there are some very unique mechanics to these tactical shooter type games uh, one is just a wasty movement uh, if you hold shift you walk around and you don't make any more noise uh, when you hit spacebar you obviously jump some more uh, unique mechanics to the genre uh, you can change weapons and uh, if you hold your knife out you walk faster than if you have your gun out um, another unique mechanic to the game genre is uh, so say I'm not moving my hand and I'm just holding the mouse let me just show you guys um, and just look at the screen I'm just gonna hold and it creates this spread pattern this T automatically and then it comes back to the original position of my mouse so what players will do is they'll kinda go against the recoil pattern to try to be more accurate that's another unique mechanic something to master and then uh, something that Valorant has brought to the table is agents and each agent has unique abilities like this specific uh, agent named Jet she has a dash if I press E in any direction that I hold to so say I'm moving to the left she also has a uplift and then she also has a smoke. Let's get some frame drops there. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, probably gonna focus on a couple of the basic core mechanics first, and then start moving into either uh, agent building agents out or going into multiplayer because this is ultimately a multiplayer first person shooter but that can uh, that would be a much more advanced topic because it's a pretty advanced networking or has pretty advanced networking here I just wanted to show you guys what I've kind of made pre-tutorial um, and what the next couple episodes will look like and what we'll be able to make so if I click here and we start playing the game so I'm using uh, free assets that I got off the unity asset store and as we go along this tutorial I'll give credit to the people who uh, you know obviously made the asset and uh, gave it out for free which is extremely generous so right now we have a WASD controller uh, if you press space you can jump I have the numbers feeling pretty similar to Valorant we can fine-tune them in the episodes when we start focusing on those items I also have uh, if you hold shift you start walking um, another cool thing that I have is the spread pattern um, so that's pretty neat uh, it feels very similar to how Valorant does it like 
you have the gun that tilts, but also you have your crosshair that tilts, and you know it's specific to every, I, the system is set up so that it supports many different weapons with different spread patterns and stuff like that. So we'll learn about that. Uh, we're ultimately trying to create Valorant or or set the direction for the or try to think about how Valorant was built um, ultimately to just become better game developers and, and see how they built their things or see how we can try to build their things um, so yeah and you know if I go against the spray pattern it's more accurate you see and then if I stand back further the spray pattern is much you know I'm much less accurate so uh, yeah So yes, I think that's all of the mechanics that I'll be going over in the first couple episodes. And then after that, I'll, you know, take some time, develop more, uh, probably get into more like crouching, uh, changing weapons, more specific things. And then I'll show you guys like that, what that'll look like. And then I'll uh, make the tutorial. So I'm kind of like breaking the tutorial series up in chunks so that we can focus on uh, specific pa parts and so that we're not just looking at the thing and uh, it's you know this, all these things we have to do no let's just focus on certain things break it up in parts and then we'll you know move on from there and also you guys can let me know what you guys want from the future tutorials so just let me know um, don't forget to hit subscribe be part of the notification team, hit the, that bell, um, like the video if you liked it, don't forget to comment, let me know if you what you want to see, what you want to what you want to focus on, if you want to emulate a certain type of game, maybe we'll make a tutorial series on that, but uh, I think Valorant is really, really hot right now, I love the game, I love, you know, tactical FPS shooters, I love uh, Counter-Strike, the game that Valorant was based off of, so, anyways, uh, hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you. Ajax, you're out.